Baylor men's basketball has released their entire schedule for this year, not just for the conference slate, not just the non-cons, everything. And some of these games have times and TV or just one or the other or neither. So just an FYI on that. And November 7th is in Sioux Falls, South Dakota against Auburn. That's to be determined. November 12th, Gardner Webb at home, 4 p.m. And that's on a Sunday. November 14th, Kansas City or UMKC. Oregon. Then November 22nd, you have Oregon State as a preseason NIT I mean, season tip off. Then November, I mean, at 6 p.m. on ESPN2. But by the way, Kansas City is definitely on ESPN. Plus, so let's make that clear. Now, November 24th, it's either Pitt or Florida, depending on the result of our uh, Baylor versus Oregon State game and Pitt versus Florida. So, November that's November 24th right there, and we don't know the time or station yet. Nichols, November 28th, 7 p.m. At home, ESPN Plus. Northwestern State, December 2nd. That's on ESPN Plus, definitely, but no time or yet. December 5th, 8 p.m. against... Seton Hall on ESPN2 for the part of the Big East Big 12 challenge battle. Then you have two neutral side games in a row in Michigan State December 16th on Fox in Detroit City in Little Caesars Arena. We don't know the time yet. And the Duke game is in Madison Square Garden in New York, New York, I mean New York City, New York, December 20th. So. We don't know the time or the station at all, but then they have a what I call a a, a cupcake game after that in Mississippi Valley State, December twenty second. We don't know the time time, but it's on ESPN Plus. Cornell is the first game in Foster Pavilion at six p.m. Central Time on ESPN Plus. Yeah, on January second, January sixth at Oklahoma State, two p.m. ESPN Plus. January 9th, BYU in Waco, ESPN Plus, 8 p.m. January 13th, Cincinnati, like 7 p.m., ESPN 2. Then on the road to Kansas State, and it's the only time we're going to play against Jerome Tang, January 16th at 7 p.m. on ESPN Plus, which I'm a little surprised it's on ESPN Plus, but that's besides the point. Now, at Texas, that's back-to-back -back road games right there, January 20th, ESPN, ESPN 2, or ESPN 2, we don't know the time yet. So, then we got TCU at home January 27th at 3 p.m. on ESPN2. Then on the road to UCF January 31st at 6 p.m. Then you have a home back-to-back -back home games in Iowa State February 3rd, 7 p.m. ESPN2. Texas Tech February 6th, 8 p.m. ESPN2. Now you have to go on the road to Kansas February 10th at 5 p.m. on, on ESPN. February 13th, you got Oklahoma at home, ESPN2 or ESPNU. February 17th, on the road to West Virginia at 5 p.m. Central Time on ESPN2. Then you got to go on the road to BYU. Once again, back-to-back -back road games. February 20th, 8 p.m. ESPN2 or ESPNU. Then you have a home game with Houston February 24th at 11 a.m. Central Time. I mean, 11 a.m. Central Time on HCBS. On the road to TCU, February 26th, 8 p.m. on ESPN. Then you got Kansas at home, March 2nd at 11 a.m. ESPN. March 4th, you got Texas at home at 8 p.m. Central Time on ESPN. Then you got to go on the road to Texas Tech to end the year, March 9th at 5 p.m. Central Time on ESPN2. And, of course, there's a Big 12 tournament like from March 12th through March 16th. So... Yeah, that's just a FYI in right there. And how many NCAA tournament teams does Baylor play this year? And for sure in the non-con, we got Auburn, Duke, and Michigan State. Pitt is a possible because as long as Baylor wins and Pitt wins, they play each other. And, of course, NIT teams. Florida is a possible in the, in the non-con, but, but losing record teams are like Garner Webb, Cincinnati, Oregon State, and Mississippi Valley State in terms of the non-conference. And no postseason like for Northwestern State with the 22-11 record, Nichols State 16-15, and, and Cornell 17-11. And, 
But I will say that for sure, the Big 12 is already one of the best conferences in the league. And I, I'm going to go over like expectations at a different time, but and a roster breakdown. But I will say Baylor plays 11 NCAA tournament games and five of those on the road. So that's already 11 plus. That's 14 teams right off the jump. And it's not including Pitt. I mean, that's 15 teams. They're going to be battle tested this year. And hopefully the defense takes a step in the right direction. Play a little more size at guard and better defend defenders on the team. So, anyways, if you like this content, like and subscribe, and see you guys later. We're on the road to 600 subscribers now. Let's go.